Hey guys, okay, so it's time for a little bit of science. And from as you can see from this screen here, we're gonna stock up talk about space. So hopefully you've already downloaded the notes page. Um, and it looks kind of like this. And it, oops, sorry, there's the camera. There's two pages to it, just like a page and a half. I've already taken my notes. No, you can't look at mine. And um hopefully you're able to print it out. If for some reason you weren't able to print it out, um, um, you might just um, see if you can, um, I can't even talk, uh, just save it in Microsoft Word or something and just type in or make a, you know, copy it and open a new document and type into it or something along those lines. Message me if you're having some problems and we'll, we'll figure out another option. So you can take some notes. Um, anyway, so I'm going to go through this PowerPoint kind of quickly because um, there's not a whole lot of notes to take today. Um, and then instead of watching the videos within the PowerPoint, I just attached uh, three videos after you go through this PowerPoint video for you to go and just watch on your own. That way um, this doesn't make this teaching video so long. So if we were in class, I would be stopping and, and showing some videos as we go, but just um, for online purposes, um, I'm just gonna do the notes part and then watch some videos. But if you wanna switch back and forth between note taking and watching videos, you're welcome to do that. Stop this video, go watch another one and come back. So however you wanna do it. Okay, so um, to the very beginning of your notes, I don't know where to hold it, there it is. Okay, it says the universe is everything that exists, including all matter and energy everywhere, right? And it is huge. Okay, so we're going to talk about how huge space is, the different distances in space, what's an astronomical unit, what's a light year, the vast number of stars, some different interesting facts about what's the closest to us as far as stars and um, uh, other galaxies, and then uh, what's, what's Voyager 1, what is that about, and then just a little bit about space travel. It's going to be just a very light introduction to the topic, and then we will go deeper and deeper into um, space. Oh, by the way, this whole new unit that we'll be doing probably from now until the end of the school year is astronomy. So it's going to be everything from everything out in space, including our solar system, the sun, the moon, all the planets, everything outside the planets, outside our solar system, meteors, asteroids, everything from what causes the um, um, the seasons, the tides on our Earth, space travel in general, like uh, the history of it. So anyway, just pretty much everything related to space. Okay, so you kind of know what's coming in the next several weeks. So the universe. Again, that was the first thing in your notes. It says the universe is everything that exists, including all matter and energy. And then what it, what you need to jot down is this next part that's underlined. The study the study of what is beyond Earth is called astronomy. Okay, so that's what you're adding to your notes. So remember at the beginning of the year when we started talking about Earth science and we kind of said we would start with the Earth. We started um, with geology and basically what the Earth was made out of. We talked about minerals and rocks and then we went down deep inside the Earth and the layers and then we um, studied everything that was happening in the layers of the Earth and plate tectonics and convection currents and volcanoes. And then we just started moving up and we did the weather. So we were still in the Earth's atmosphere and now we're moving outside of our atmosphere, um, just within our solar system and then beyond into the universe. So that is basically anything beyond the Earth, beyond our atmosphere is astronomy. Okay, and I'm not gonna show this video now, but there is a video at the end about this, how big the universe is that you'll watch um, whenever you're done with this. So you've written this part down, the part in bold and underline. And obviously we know space is huge. It's so vast, we can't measure it. We can't measure it like what we're used to. We're used to measuring in kilometers, if the metric system or miles for standard um, uh, measurement systems, but you can't do that in space or you end up with like trillions and trillions of zeros and you just can't write so. So there's different ways that they measure distance in space. Okay, so and I think uh, this is this is in your notes already. Space is so vast we can't measure it. The distance from Earth to the Sun is approximately 150 million kilometers or 93 million miles. So we're more familiar with miles. So from Earth where we are to the Sun is 93 million miles. That's really far. So, but relatively speaking, is meaning in relation to other stars in our solar system, I'm not in our solar system, in our galaxy, um, the sun is actually pretty close. 
So, which is weird because 93 million miles is not close. So, oh, you can't see this. All right, I got to hide that. So since space is so vast, we use something called astronomical units or AU for short um, and light years to talk about distances in space. We don't use kilometers and miles. We're going to use AU or astronomical units and light years to measure distance. So again, this is bold and underlined and you can add that to your notes. Um, I'm going to click to go on to the next screen, but you can always pause this at any time if you need to finish taking notes, but I'm just going to kind of keep moving along. Okay, so what's an AU? What's an astronomical unit? The astronomical unit basically is the distance from the sun to the earth. It's this space right here. And it's 150 kilometers or 93 million miles, which is what we wrote down a minute ago. So if it's 93 million miles or 150 kilometers, then if something is 300 million kilometers away, it would be two astronomical units, 150 kilometers, another 150 kilometers, 150, 150, 300. So one astronomical unit is 150 kilometers, two astronomical units is 300 kilometers, <laughs> 300 million kilometers, sorry. Or if we were doing it in miles, it's 90, um, 90 million, 93 million miles um, is one astronom <laughs> astronomical unit. So two astronomical units in miles would be 186 no, yes, 186 million miles. Sorry, I'm trying to do math in my head. Um, but you don't have to write that. I think I did actually put that on my notes. I put that uh, a little note to myself under astronomical units. I put the miles down. So you might want to just make a little note to yourself that 150, this right here, 150 million is also, and it says a proc, this little squiggle here, so you know, just means approximately. It's like 149 point something something million. So. Um, anyway, this means approximately 140 million. So you could underneath in your notes put 93 million miles and over here 300 kilometers would be the same as 186 million miles. So you've got the distances in miles and kilometers. Okay, so then we move on to the third or fourth section there in your notes called light years. So in space, the, since the distances are huge, the closest star to the sun beside the closest star besides our sun, which is a star, right? You guys know that, right? So if you don't, our sun is a star. Uh, so, and it's 93 million miles away. The next closest star is like 24 trillion miles away. I can't even do it in kilometers. What, 38, is that trillion? I think it's trillion kilometers or 24 trillion miles. So that's just to the closest star. So like here's earth, where are we at? Right here. Okay. And then Here's like that next star, like that's insane. So basically then the zeros just start getting so big and we've only gone to one star other than the um, the sun. So they scientists were like, okay, we, we can't go trillions upon trillions upon trillions and write you know numbers that have like more zeros than we could put on a piece of paper. So we have to come up with another way to measure the distance, okay? Um, so again, you're, all, you're adding this underlined part um, and underline bold part to your notes under there, under light year. I know the lines on the notes pages are kind of weird. Like some of them ended up really short and thick. Something happened in the formatting when I was posting it. So if your lines are not um, great, you can always just draw some additional lines or just like you can see on mine here that, I don't know, can you see that? Like end up with this tiny little weird short line, but I just, I just wrote there. Anyway, so just kind of make that work if you don't mind kind of figuring all this stuff out. Um, so a light year is a way to measure really long distances. And they use uh, if they want to measure really long distances, they're going to use a light year because it, you don't have to put all the trillions of zeros because it gets out of, out of control. So what is a light year? OK, so we know that light travels. Scientists know that light travels at 300,000 kilometers per second. So a light second is 300,000 kilometers in a second. That's kind of crazy. So a light year is a distance that light can travel. Oh, that got cut off a little bit. In, um, what got cut off? Um, oh, it just says in a year. Okay, in a is what got cut off behind my face. Sorry. So um, a light year is a distance that light can travel in a year or like 9 trillion 460 billion, 800 million kilometers. I think I did it. So 
it's easier to write 63,072 astronom astronomical units. That's much shorter than writing all these zeros. Okay, so a light year is basically like nine trillion <laughs> or something like that. Oh, uh, nine D five trillion? No, no, nine trillion. 460, did I get it right earlier? Billion? I don't know. Y'all who like to do that, you can practice reading this, but this is a trillion. Um, okay, so then after you've jotted this down there in your notes under light year, um, no, yeah, a light year. So we wrote that people use a unit called a light year, and then we added this part at the bottom. And don't forget that little squiggle, um, that this number right here is approximate. Okay, so you might see a little squiggle in front of it every now and then. Okay, so how far is a light year? Okay, um, basically is the distance, one astronomical unit, this is it in kilometers, it's, we said it was 150, um, wait, that's not right, it's 150,000 kilometers. No, 150 million, that's right. This is rounded to 150 million kilometers in our previous notes. That's an astronomical unit or 93 million miles. But a light year is actually 63,240 astronomical units because it even gets harder to do astronomical, like the astronomical units thing is going to get harder anyway. One light year is 63,000 astronomical units. So if we want to talk about like 100 light years, now the astronomical units can start getting really big too with lots of zeros. So we're going to actually start using a light year instead. Okay. So there's a video I have about a light year, but not this one. I'm not going to do it here because I want to just keep going and we'll come back and watch all the videos about how far a light year is. Okay, so let's just talk a little bit more how huge space is. And this video again will be at the end. Okay, um, so just a note though, when you go back to this part here on your notes, there's a lot of blank space at the bottom. When you, when you watch, like I filled it in with a bunch of different notes right here. When you watch the video about a light year, you might want to just jot down a few things, nothing. I mean, just jot down some things that you think might be really important down there. Um, okay, how huge is space? We're going to watch that video later. So now we're on the second page of the notes. Okay, I think. Am I? No, I'm sorry, we're at the bottom of the notes. How far is a light year? Okay, vast number of stars. I can't even say that number. Like, somebody want to tell me how to say that number you could you can type it out in the in the notes of this lesson because it's just got a lot of zeros. So that's how many stars there are in the universe. Basically all the stars in space outnumber every sound and word produced by every human that has ever lived. I don't know how they know that, but that's just kind of nuts. I thought that was a super interesting fact. So this is this is already typed in at the bottom of your notes. And that now there's space underneath that if you want to go back and take some notes during the videos. But if someone wants to tell me how to read that number, Ethan Roberts, Miles, Ryan, one of you guys, I know one of you out there is already starting to figure it out. Somebody is. Um, I'm not saying you're getting bonus points, but I sure would love for somebody to read that number if you can figure it out. Okay, we shall continue. Okay, so now we're back to a light year is basically about 9 trillion 500 billion, 800 million kilometers. I think I got that one. I've had to keep practicing this. This is hard. Okay, now we're on the second page of the notes. We're getting there, guys. Hang with me. Okay, there's just some fill in the blanks here, and you're going to be filling in anytime you see this um, bold or so uh, bold and underlying stuff. So basically, the distance from the Earth to Neptune, just some kind of interesting facts. Neptune's the farthest planet in our solar system, and it's 2,700,000 miles or 4,300,000 kilometers, okay, from Earth to Neptune, okay. It's also going to be 28.67 astronomical units or 0 0.000455 light years. Just some interesting conversions. Remember conversion factors? Yeah, remember we were like, oh, these are easy. I don't need to write it down. These are a little trickier. If we wanted to do conversion factors on these, we would have to write it down. Uh, Alpha Centauri is the nearest star. It is over four light years away. The nearest star other than our sun is over four light years away. That's crazy. The center of our galaxy, like the Milky Way galaxy, and you'll see in some of the videos, it'll zoom all the way out and you'll see the Milky Way galaxy. 
the, from where we are to the center of our galaxy is 27,700 light years away. And then Andromeda, which is the nearest large galaxy, because once you zoom out and you see the Milky Way ga galaxy where we are, our solar system is just one of millions of solar systems in the Milky Way galaxy. When you zoom out of the Milky Way galaxy and you look for other near galaxies, the next largest galaxy near us is, is uh, it's almost 3 million light years away. <laughs> so I mean, we're just getting smaller and smaller, right? Um, Oh, and I don't want to close this window because I'm not quite sure. Oh, I'm not quite sure. <laughs> well, you have it in your notes, though. Yeah, I think it's 15 billion light years away, the furthest galaxy seen in the universe that they've been able to see. Okay, so if we were still using kilometers, the distance to the furthest galaxy would be whatever that number is. Again, anybody want to figure that out? More power to you. That's a lot of zeros. So scientists obviously don't want to write that many zeros. That would be crazy. So that's why they start writing things in astronomical units or in light years. Um, it just gives them ways to measure giant distances and smaller uh, measures, units of measure. Okay, you're not going to have to do these calculations. It's just being aware um, of like what a light year is, um, what an astronomical unit is, the distance from the Earth to the sun, those, those things. Okay, we don't travel even close to the speed of light, okay? So just a little, some other additional things. Voyager 1 is basically, and when we do space exploration, we'll learn more about Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, but it's a spacecraft that was actually launched in like the 70s. I think it's 1977, if I remember correctly. And they just sent it heading out of our solar system to see how far it would go and take pictures. And it, it ended up eventually, then they launched a second one, Voyager 1, uh, 2, the following year. Both of them now have gone into interstellar space, which is outside of our solar system. And it's been what, 50, 60 years. And they have gotten some amazing pictures from Voyager 1 and Voyager 2. So anyway, um, so it's, it, it says it's heading out of our solar system. It's already out of it now from the time this was made. Um, um, and it was going at 62,000 kilometers per hour. But even at that speed, it would take 77,000 years to reach the nearest star. So it's taken like 60 years just to get out of our solar system. <laughs> to get to the nearest star, it would be 77,000 years. So it would take over a billion years just to cross our galaxy. And that's just our galaxy. So space is, all of this is to say space is huge. Space is huge, which is really kind of cool when you think about it, because you're like, God is huge. He created this, this, his creation is huge. Like we get, you know, um, uh, we only get this tiny little glimpse of creation here on earth, but like the universe is huge. Space is huge. There's so much about it we don't know. Uh, but it's just kind of cool. Uh, it just reminds me how big God is. And in times when we can get a little stressed out and worried about things, we know that if he can hold this amazing universe together, surely he can hold things together here on Earth. So, um, yeah, that's my little bit of encouragement there. I, every time we study space, I'm always in awe of God's creation even more. Um, oh, it was 1977. Okay, so space probe launched in 1977. In December 2013, it was over 19 billion kilometers from the Earth, or 35 light hours. You can, um, I'm going to click on this really quick so you can see, and hopefully I'll be able to go back fairly easily. This just takes you to this NASA website where and you can actually, you know, go on, look on the NASA website or Google NASA and Voyager, and you can find out when they were launched in 1977. So how many years have been? Oh, 42 years. I definitely calculated that wrong. Um, how far they are from Earth, how many miles, how many astronomical units away they are, which is a smaller number. You see it's 148 versus 13 billion. Yes. Um, their distance from the sun, how fast they're traveling. Um, just some, anyway, this is just some pictures of them. So you, if you want to this, I've done this before, you have to download an app, so it's kind of a little dicey. So um, anyway, but you can do a little more research in, if you want to and find out more about what is going on with Voyager. So let me go back to here. It's, it's actually pretty interesting stuff. Okay, last thing here is space travel. 77,000 years is a long time to journey into space. Um, and 
for for us to do that kind of space exploration, it, it's just not possible. We need a faster way to travel. Like we can't spend 77,000 years traveling to get out of our solar system. So some of you may recognize this. It's the star, Starship Enterprise. It's the, the Enterprise from Star Trek. Yes. So there's a little video here that I'm going to show. Uh, that should wrap up like taking of the notes. And then I'm going to show the silly little ending video. And then you can go back and watch the other videos I attached about the size of the universe and what a light year is. And I think there's three of them, and now I'm forgetting what the third one is. But here's just a silly little, this is what we have to be able to do if we want to travel outside of our universe. Let's see if this will work. Oh, oh, okay. Let me open this. Make it louder. It's just, I thought it was fun. So just showing that we are going to have to figure out how to do warp speed at some point if we want to travel outside our universe or out of our uh, solar system, not outside of our universe. So anyway, that's pretty much it. It's just a very broad introduction to space. Um, we will continue to talk more about it tomorrow. You will, uh, let me escape out of this. You will um, on Friday, no, I'm sorry, I've lost track of days. On Wednesday for science, um, you, you're not going to be able to see this tomorrow. I can see it on my page, but it's not posted yet. You're going to be opening a interactive notebook, a digital interactive notebook. And it's going to look like this. Everybody will have their own copy. You'll type your name here. You know, I don't want to change my account. I do like, okay. Okay. Um, you'll type in your name and this table of contents is just showing you all like we started with space. Then we'll talk about our solar system. We'll talk about uh, the life and death of stars. We'll go into seasons in the Earth's tilt, the moon, eclipses, galaxies and other objects, the immensity of the universe, which we already talked a little bit about, and how uh, space travel, basically how, how we've done that. So you can see what we're going to be doing over the next couple of weeks. And you have this little interactive notebook. I know I sent you guys your interactive notebooks home, but it's just going to be too hard to have you guys like printing and cutting and gluing. So no cutting and gluing. It's going to be interactive. You guys will do a little activity where you're, you're clicking and putting these things in order that they are from, oops, just be really careful not to delete anything. Um, and then you'll have some questions about the definition of a light year. You'll actually type your answers right in here. There's like a little text box that will open up and you can click on it and type in here. And then there's one more video. How do we measure distance in space that you'll watch and answer a few questions. And you'll do that on Wednesday. That'll be the only science that you'll do on Wednesday. So you're not going to see this on Tuesday. So don't be looking for it tomorrow. All you have to do tomorrow is watch this video chapter one space and then tell me the most interesting you'll you'll open this and it says do tomorrow and you're gonna it says click the box to the right which you're looking at the teacher page so you can't really see it but there's a little box over here that you'll see sorry i'm only looking at it from the teacher side and you're just going to tell me the most interesting thing you learned about space and that's all you have to do for tuesday for science okay this is a way long video and i'm gonna sign off see you guys later